Well, that's the way <clears throat> false prophets are. Let us remember, if they are servants of Satan, they have the tongue of the serpent. And what did the scripture say about the serpent? That he is more subtle than any beast of the field. So, if the righteous, holy, God-fearing people are taught how to take on the characteristics of God, well, let us look at those that are the servants of Satan. They also take on the characteristics of Satan, more subtle <clears throat> than any beast of the field. Satan also, Lucifer, is a messenger. For his message consists of lies, deceit, wickedness, destruction. It has never been designed to bring us closer to God. It has always been designed to bring a separation between God and God's people. All right, let's go back to the 23rd chapter of the book of the prophet Jeremiah. And, at and verse this 30. time we want to begin at verse 28. Let's go up a little bit. Follow me. Jeremiah chapter 23, we'll start reading in verse 28. All right. <clears throat> the prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. Wait a minute. The prophet that hath a dream. Let him tell a dream. Let him tell the dream. Now, uh, let, let me analyze this in more detail. If you have a dream, tell the dream without additives or preservatives because it is common to dream. And because one is a prophet, that doesn't necessarily mean that the dream that he's having is from the Lord. For that, a doesn't dream. Mean, that doesn't mean it's a message from the Lord because the dream comes through the multitude of business, be it natural business, or spiritual business. All right, what you have? The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. Yes. And he that hath my word. He that what? He that hath my word. He that hath my word. Let him speak my word faithfully. Let him speak my word how? Faithfully. That ties in with the New Testament. Be instant in season and out of season. Well, God want a faithful servant. Men that minister in word and doctrine, God wants them to be faithful. How, how long be thou faithful unto death? No retirement. No holy retirement home for the preacher. You got to be faithful till you die. I had someone ask me and say, well, suppose the preacher can, is handicapped. Well, if he can still speak, then uh, that's what God wants, his mouth. Right. Someone says, suppose he's blind. That's all right. You had a prophet in the Old Testament comes to mind. Right. He was blind and uh, the king, there was someone that was coming to the prophet from the king that disguised themselves. And the blind prophet, the Lord spoke to him and let him know, you know, God was his eyes for him. And God let them know that such and such a one is coming and they have disguised themselves. But the word used of the term, they have foreign themselves. And when the prophet and went to the door, he told the individual who they were and asked them why. Come in. Uh, listen at this. In the book of First Kings, chapter fourteen, and we'll now start. I want you to understand that the king, or rather the prophet, was old, right. and his eyes were set because of age. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. First Kings, chapter fourteen, we'll start at verse one. All right. At that time, Abijah the son of Jeroboam fell sick. Yes. And Jeroboam said to his wife, "Arise, I pray thee, and disguise thyself." That thou be not known to be the wife of Jeroboam. Yeah, I don't want I don't want no one to know that you're my wife. I want you to disguise yourself. Uh -huh. And get thee to, to Shiloh. Go to Shiloh. 
Behold, there is Abijah the prophet. Abijah the prophet. Which told me that I should be king over this people. Uh -huh. And take with thee ten loaves and crack nails and a cruise of honey and go to him. Yes. He shall tell thee what shall become of the child. You know, back then, the kings knew where to get the word of the Lord from. They knew. And what I find interesting, even if there was a prophet that the king didn't like, but that king knew that God was in that prophet. That king knew if I want to hear from God, I have to still deal with the prophet that I don't like. I think of Micaiah, the son of Embla, when Ahab wanted to take Ramoth Gilead and he got 400 devils just to say what he wanted them to say. Jehoshaphat said, is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides? Ahab had to confess. He said, there's yet one man, Micaiah, the son of Embla, by whom we may inquire. But Ahab did not hide his feelings. How he felt about Micaiah. He said, I hate him. Then he gave his reason why. He said, because Micaiah don't speak nothing good concerning me but evil. And one of the men responded to Ahab, let, let not the king say so. Don't say you hate the man. Well, the messenger of God will be faithful to God's message. I said the messenger of God will be faithful to God's message. Whether in life or death, if God planted that message down in his sanctified soul, Rest assure you, you can offer him anything under the sun. If that messenger of God has set to his seal that God is true, he won't go to the left nor to the right. Now I think of uh, Balaam, thank God. Balaam, the son of Beor, I believe it was, in the days of Balak, when Balak wanted Balaam to cuss. Israel and he kept taking him to different places you know sometimes if you want to get a person to change give them a change of atmosphere so Balak got Balaam and kept chain taking him from one place to the other one place to the other and uh, he noticed that uh, Balaam wouldn't change his mind the Lord got a hold of Balaam after Balak going to offer him so much silver and whatnot and Balaam responded under the inspiration of God. Uh, if, Balak if Balak will give me his house, give me his house full of silver and gold. That's the way a real man of God is made. That's, right. That's the way a real man of God is made. He ain't phased by money. Right. You can put him in a room that's stacked with trillions of dollars from the floor to the roof. And when he walk out, he won't take a penny. That's right. He won't steal not a half of a penny. Amen. Why? Because his fear towards God keeps him from being a thief. That's right. All right. If Balak would give me his give house. Give chapter and verse for this. Numbers chapter 24 and at verse 13. If Balak. Would give me his house. Will give me his house. Full of silver full and gold. Full of silver and gold. I cannot go I beyond the commandment of the Lord. cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord. Hold it. I can't go beyond it. Whatever the Lord command. I won't tell you more than that. Whatever the Lord command. I won't tell you less than that. And when you refuse to tell the people more than what the scripture says, and when you refuse to tell the people less than what the scripture says, right then they keep you within the confines of the scripture. Right. Amen. And the scriptures will be your boundary. You won't go beyond and you won't do less. Uh -huh. I cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord. Yes. To, to do either good. To do either good. Or bad. Glory to God or bad. Of my own mind. Of my of what? Of my own mind. Now, viewers, blessed be the great God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When any man minister, he's not to minister of his own mind. That's right. What scripture says, get rid of your mortal mind. Well, what kind of mind do you recommend, Pastor Dennis? I give you the same recommendation that God recommends. That is, let this mind, glory to God, be in you 
that was also in Christ Jesus. Now think of it. If you look at the scriptures and look at the teachings of the prophets and the teachings of the apostles, the prophets, by the inspiration of God, clearly told us of what the Son of God, Christ Jesus, will do when he arrived. And after he died and rose and ascended back up into heaven, the apostles referred back to what he had done when he walked earth. And the whole objective of the Spirit of God is to leave us an example. I want you to understand this, viewers. The whole objective, the motive that God had was to leave us an example that we should follow his steps. That's why God was manifested in the flesh. He worked in the flesh. He preached in the flesh. He healed in the flesh. Amen. He demonstrated his purpose, his will, his standard, his law, his precepts. As the Jews would say, Yahashua HaMashiach was the body of Yahweh. Yahweh was in Yahashua HaMashiach to redeem us back to the holy estate that we lost in the Garden of Eden. So when God was manifest in the flesh, when a thing is manifest, is seen, when it's manifest, is heard, when it's manifest, it is clearly done. All right. I cannot go beyond the commandment of the I Lord. I cannot go beyond the commandment of God. To do either, good, to do or either bad good or bad. Of mine own mind. Of my own mind. But what the Lord says. Uh-oh. Amen. Glory to God. What the Lord says. That will I speak. That's a driving force. Right. And every God said man. Right. I don't care who that man is. If God called him and sent him. For the Bible says, he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God. Well, how plain is that? If the Bible very, it speaks plain. <clears throat> it testifies of every man that God sent. That's right. He whom God hath sent. In St. John chapter 3. The words of God. John chapter 3. And verse 34. And you better go up to verse 33. At verse 34. All right. He that has received his testimony. He that has received his testimony. Has said to his seal. Said to his seal. That God is true. Glory to God that God is true. For he whom God has sent. Not she. He. Mm -hmm. he. But he whom God has sent. Speaketh the words of God. Brothers and sisters, viewers. Whenever God sent a man. That the one that sent him. Right. Is the driving force in him. To tell you what God said. Right. Let me tell you again. A man whom God hath sent. The same one that sent him. Is the driving force. To tell you. Well, hallelujah. Glory to God. What God said. It, it, it's a driving force. Amen. Thank God the Apostle Paul said. Woe is me. That's right. Woe, hallelujah. That's Woe right. is me. That's right. If I preach not the gospel. What do you mean, Paul? I'm in trouble. That's right. Sorry for me. That's right. Trouble awaits me. That's right. Hell for me. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory take God. Hallelujah. If I preach not the the gospel. This is why a God sent man, he, he ain't concerned about making friends. That's, right. that's not his own, that's not on his agenda. He ain't trying to make friends. He's not interested in trying to get close to nobody. What do he care right. if nobody hallelujah? Lord take God is not close to hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. His concern to get as close to God as he can. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. And and he want God to be close to him. That's right. And, and, and when God make him, and this is another thing that God told him. Hallelujah. And don't you be afraid right. of their faces. That's right. Lest, blessed be God, right. I can 
find thee before them. That's right. What do you mean? Don't you worry about how people look when I tell you what they say. That's right. Let them frown. Let them fall out. Let them roll their eyes. Let them prep their mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When God make a preacher. You're not afraid. Many times, you're mm. going to feel like this, you're alone. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, you, you, Hallelujah. If, if you're married, your wife may support Hallelujah. you in being back of you. Hallelujah. Your children may support you being back of you. Hallelujah. Your mother and your brothers Hallelujah. and sisters, and they Hallelujah. may back you, but it Hallelujah. won't change the fact Hallelujah. you're going to feel sometimes That's right. that Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, thank God Hallelujah. that you're by yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes that's good. Hallelujah. Because it makes you Go look ahead. up. Go ahead. Uh, glory to Hallelujah. God. Unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and at the appointed time, Go ahead, blessed brother. be God, the great God, His Hallelujah. divine power. Hallelujah. Amen. Will appear unto you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. God, I say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah. Will appear unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether by vision Go ahead. or whether by dream. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Or whether by speech. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. God, I say. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. God. Will appear unto you. Go ahead. Man. Whether by dream. Hallelujah. Whether by vision. Hallelujah. Thank God. Or whether by speech. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, a man of God that God sent, his, his feet is planted. Hallelujah. You know, when, when I came up, Hallelujah. I used to hear the old time of saying, I shall not be moved. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm like a tree. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Planted by the water. Planted by the water. Thank God Hallelujah. I Hallelujah. shall not Hallelujah. be moved. That's the way all of God's people got Hallelujah. to be. Hallelujah. All of God people got to be like this. For he shall I, be. I, I'm not talking about just a preacher. I'm talking about brothers and so oh, yeah. go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. For he shall be as a tree. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 17 and at verse 8. And eight, sir. For he shall be as a tree. He Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall be as, as a tree. A tree. Planted. Planted. By the waters. Why? Planted. Why is it necessary? Hallelujah. Glory be to Hallelujah. God. Why is it necessary that a tree is planted by water? By the water. You see, when a tree is by water, Hallelujah. that's a constant supply Go ahead, brother. to nurture the roots. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. if the roots that you can't see Hallelujah. being properly nurtured Hallelujah. what you see you can see how healthy and hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go how ahead. strong Go ahead. thank God Go ahead. how beautiful that tree is that, that, that the church hallelujah. has to be planted, planted. by water by the waters why what, what, what is that water hallelujah. this speaking of the spirit, of the spirit. That's right. living water Huh? For the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. That's why I, I wanted to tell the church, Hallelujah. stay in water. Hallelujah. What do you mean? Stay in the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Amen. When you stay in the water, you stay in the word of God. That's right. Because the Bible called the water of God living water. That's right. That's right. Then it says, He's talking about the Spirit. That's right. Jesus said, The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit. That's right. Amen. And if I stay Hallelujah. in the word of God, go ahead, go ahead. I, I'm in the spirit. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 I'm in the spirit. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, I may not be speaking in tongue and may not be jumping and shouting go ahead. but if I'm go ahead. in the word of God hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 to God if I'm in hallelujah. God's word hallelujah and my doing hallelujah glory oh, to God is saying God's word hallelujah. hallelujah I'm in the spirit that's right huh? hallelujah. hallelujah Jesus said the word hallelujah. that I speak unto you they are spirit their spirit and their life. You that are home watching this, go ahead, brother. follow me in your Bible. Go ahead, go ahead. And if you follow me in the Bible, Hallelujah. 
and stay in the scriptures, Hallelujah. you're in the spirit. That's right. That's right. And That's right. you may not be at your screen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. shopping around. That's it. But when you're in the yes. word of God, Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Words, I and in the spirit. That's right. That's right. Jesus said the word that I speak Hallelujah. unto you. Glory to God Hallelujah. that I speak unto you. They are spirit. Hallelujah. They are spirit and they are life. I Hallelujah. God Hallelujah. and they are life. And they are life. It's a beautiful thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be in the spirit. Hallelujah. Stay in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you mean stay in the spirit? Hallelujah. Stay in the word. That's it. Hallelujah. Stay in the book. Hallelujah. That's it. Hallelujah. Stay in the scripture. That's it. Stay in the letter. That's it. Hey! That's it. What did he say, the son? The words that I speak unto you. Go read, take up the words. That I speak unto you. That I speak unto you. They are spirit. And they are life. All right, let's go back to where you were. Back in Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse 28. All right. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. If you have a dream, tell it as a dream. And, he and, that, if, and, and if that dream is not from God, don't try to make someone believe that it is from God. That's right. And it isn't. Just tell him, and look, I had a dream. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. And he that hath my word, he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. <clears throat> I want to encourage all Hallelujah. the ministers. Hallelujah. Everywhere. Hallelujah. Around the world. Hallelujah. Holy ministers. That's right. You, you, you have this word of God. That's it. That's it. Speak the word how? Faithfully. How? Faithfully. faithfully. Be faithful. That's it. If you lose your job, Hallelujah. be faithful speaking the word of God. That's right. Don't have no money. That's right. Thank God. God, hallelujah. That's right. Be faithful. That's it. Speaking the word of God. He that hath my word. Weak in the flesh. That's right. Go be ahead. faithful. Go ahead. Speak the word of God. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Never try Amen. to speak the word of God to justify your flesh. That's right. Let the word of God Amen. be spoken Amen. by God's permission Amen. if it kills your flesh. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, brother, it's going to kill it. Oh, yes. How, how long is he going to kill it, Pastor all, Janice? All the, day all, all, the day all the day long. That's right. That's right. <laughs> all right, Williams. He that hath my word. He that hath my word. Let him speak my word faithfully. Speak it faithful. What is the chaff to the wheat? What is the chaff to the wheat? What is the chaff to the wheat, saith uh -huh. the Lord? Saith the Lord. Is not my word like as a fire, <clears throat> saith the Lord? Not, listen at this. Hallelujah. Is not my word like as a fire? Like a fire, saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And like a hammer. Now notice the word take on several titles here. That's right. Is not my word like a fire, saith, saith the, the Lord. Lord. And like a hammer. And it's like a hammer. That breaketh the rock in pieces. That break rock in pieces. All That's right, right, hold it right there. That's Let's right. dive Hallelujah. into that. And strip it apart and open it up Hallelujah. and put it back together again. Hallelujah. The word, Hallelujah. like fire. Fire. The word, Hallelujah. like a hammer. Like a hammer. Amen. Hallelujah. One word, Hallelujah. more than one function. Hallelujah. Why is it like fire? fire. Well, Hallelujah. fire consumes, Hallelujah. and that's what everybody under the sun needs. They need to be consumed. That's right. Hallelujah. Burnt up. Hallelujah. Everything about our natural house, Hallelujah. our Hallelujah. earthly tabernacle, Hallelujah. it got to be burnt out. I will make my word. Ah! Hey Amen. Listen at what God so through prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 14. I will make my words. Look at God talking again. Amen. Amen. I will make. I will make my words. My in, words. In thy mouth. In thy mouth. Fire. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah! And this I will make thine words in the mouth of the preacher. Fire. It's going to be fire. That's right. Uh -huh. And this people would. And I'll make the people would. And it shall devour them. Viewers, that's why you find so many people Hallelujah. upset and mad Hallelujah. when they see these live stream messages and Hallelujah. cussing and put thumbs down because fire got them. That's right. And fire got them burning. Hallelujah. Amen. Now. That same word Hallelujah. is a hammer. A hammer. Amen. That breaks the rocks. rocks. In pieces. Amen. The rock represents something firm. Hallelujah. Represents something solid. Hallelujah. And the rock also represents something stubborn. Hallelujah. You know, when you take a, 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 a hammer and hit a rock, once ain't going to do it. Hallelujah. You got to keep hitting that rock. Keep hitting it, that rock until a few chips may fly here and there. But then finally, a crack. That's right. So the word is fire, fire. that comes from the mouth of the preacher Hallelujah. to burn up 
everything in you and you got to submit to the fire. That's right. And fire don't feel good unless it's at the right temperature. That's right. When it's at the right temperature and the flame is at the right height, it's very comforting. That's when you got a nice fireplace, amen, sometimes my children will go in the back, amen, and all of them get around the fire pit and just enjoy one another, cut up and act mm. up, and get around the fire pit, amen, and sometimes they'll be like, Dad, come on out around the fire pit. And I'll be like, hey, all right, yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> and, amen. The fire is good when it's comfortable, thank God, but if, they, if someone put too much fluid or too many logs and that fire rise too high they hear me yelling what you doing That's right. hey god what you're doing That's right. are you trying to burn me out of house and home That's right. amen well the word of god is fire, fire. now mm. it's a hammer because viewers you're hard head you know you're hard head you are stubborn you're rebellious and God have to get a preacher and make a preacher. God have to get a man and make him a preacher. That's right. And when God make him a preacher, that preacher cannot be scared to sling the hammer. That's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. Hey Amen. You know, when I was a child, I would see my father working in the house. He would have a hammer, pliers, a wrench and all that. And, you know, and I wanted to do it. So he went and bought me a plastic set. Hey Amen. You know, I had my plastic belt. I had my hammer over here, my screwdriver over here, my pliers over here. So when he hits something, I get my plastic hammer and I'm hitting it. Uh -huh. and brother, you couldn't tell me, you couldn't tell me I wasn't doing something else. Amen. But, but, but I, and later on, I understood that my plastic hammer could not get the job done. <laughs> Viewers, this is not a plastic hammer. Thank God, this is the real thing. Real thing. Amen. And I, I, I'm advising you so-called preachers, Get rid of your play set. <laughs> Get rid of your plastic hammer. Come on back to the real thing and stop being afraid, viewers. The reason why the preachers are afraid to use the real hammer, thank God, because they know it's hard. They know it's tough. And when you use this hammer like you should, it might make some enemies right in your congregation. That's right. And right in your house. Right. All right, son, what did he say? It's not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, uh -huh. and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Mm -hmm. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my words. Wait a minute. Amen. I am against the prophets. Saith the so Lord. we have to use the word. That's now, wait a Wait, 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 wait. Here's the word was called fire, and the word is called hammer. Hammer. So God says he's against the prophet. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. That steal my word. That steal my fire. That's and right. that steal my hammer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Do you see what it says? Therefore, behold. I glory to First, let's go back and see what the word is. Back in Jeremiah 23 and verse 29. I want to itemize this and break it down. I hope you can see this, viewers. All it, right. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord? And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. It's not what? It's not my word. My word. Like as a my fire. My speech. That's right. My message. Is it not like fire? Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And burn out your eyes. And burn out your tongue. And burn up your hands. In the Old Testament, they had what is called a whole burnt sacrifice. That's right. And that means that when you put the sacrifice on the altar, the whole thing had to be consumed by fire. Okay. And when it was consumed by fire, that was a burnt offering. Okay. A burnt, you couldn't leave part of it burnt, half of it burnt. You had to offer the whole thing. Okay. And offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Okay. It was a whole burnt sacrifice upon the altar. Okay. Thank God until there was nothing left but ashes. Okay. And when there was nothing left but ashes, that means a complete sacrifice. The sacrifice was offered completely or it was a complete death. Okay. Now, here we come along being burnt by the preaching of the gospel. Right. Not only being burnt, but burning. That's right. Being consumed. That's right. Well, we're not totally consumed yet. Right. Amen. And we, we, we have to die daily. Yeah. It's a slow death. Right. Slow death. Okay. But you got to stay around the heat of the gospel yeah. 
because everything about you and about I, thank God, must be burnt up. Now, listen at what God says his word is, viewers. It's not my word. It's not my word. Like as a fire, saith the Lord. Like as a fire, saith the Lord. And like a hammer. And like a hammer. That breaketh the rock in pieces. And what they, the Lord says, that they do with his word. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, saith the I Lord. I am against the prophet, saith the Lord. That steal my word. That steal my fire. That's and right. steal my hammer. That steal hold my it, words. Hold it, hold it, hold it now. Let's That's dive right. into this and strip it bare. The word is called fire. fire. The word is called hammer. hammer. The word also is called an axe. And the word also is called a sword. Now, notice these are all tools. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do you get me? That's right. Hey Amen. I got the certifiers that go now. That's I right. say all of these are tools. That's right. Hey Amen. The Bible says that the axe. That's right is laid at the roots. At the roots. At now, the roots. viewers, yeah. whenever someone cut a tree down, if they don't de-stump that tree, Hallelujah. get the roots, yeah. if that stump sit there for a long period of time, green, you can see green leaves and stems come right up on top of the stump. Why? Because the tree is not dead. That's right. It's not dead until you kill the roots. And now also. Now, viewers, let me show you another description of God's word. Uh, and then we'll atomize what all of it means. Listen and get me and follow me. Matthew chapter 3 and we're at verse 10. Listen. And now also, the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. The axe is laid unto the root of the tree. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down. Yes. And cast into the fire. Now, here you got God's word, God's authority, God's power is also called an axe. Acts. Now the apostle Paul preached to the Hebrews. In Hebrews and, chapter 4. Listen at this. Hebrews 4 and at verse 12. Follow me. For the word of God is quick. Here it is again. Amen. The word of God is quick. Quick. And powerful, powerful and sharper, sharper than any two-edged sword. Than any two-edged sword. All right. Fire, hammer. Axe, sword, That's right. fire, That's right. hammer, axe, sword. And also in the book of Amos. All right, Amos. In the book of Amos chapter 7. Quickly, and at, son. Amos chapter 7 and at verse 6. All right. The, the Lord repented for this, this also shall not be, saith the Lord God. Yes. Thus he showed me. Thus he showed me. And behold, the Lord stood upon a wall. He stood on a wall. Made by a plumb line. Made by a plumb line. With a plumb line in his hand. All right. Now, notice all of these instruments are used in building and tearing down. That's right. Fire. Amen. You know, fire is also used in building. Someone said what? Oh yes, hey, amen. You got to take that iron, thank God, and put it in that fire, melt it down, yeah, and then pull that iron into a mold to give you the necessary beams that you need to construct the building. Right. Thank God. And then yeah, and the blacksmith would take that hammer, amen, and, and he used hammer, and he also used heat and iron. And thank God, he yeah, hammer that Poor shoot, thank God, and then you put that thing in a fire and bring it back down. Now, you got an axe. The purpose of an axe, an axe was used in war. Yeah. There's an instrument called battle axe. That's right. And God Almighty said through the prophet, Thou art my, my battle axe. Battle axe. Battle axe. Weapons of war. Right. Now, if you got an axe, an axe ain't used to shave. Uh-uh, no, no, uh -uh, no, sir. You ain't gonna shave with an axe. That's right. You're going to cut something down with an axe. That's right. And brother, if I take an axe and put it on your head, you're going to have a part that will be there <laughs> for a long time. That's right. If I take a hammer, I don't care how hard headed you are, but if I take a hammer and drive it into your head, amen, you're going to lose all your thoughts. <laughs> you see what I'm talking? That's right. Hey, Amen. Right. Hey, I'm going to crush the thought right out of you. Right. Now, now you got a sword. sword. The sword is used to divide and to separate. That's right. Anything that we're connected to that's not like God, God's word come as a sword that you may sever ties. Now, if it's really hard to get away from that thing, then God's word come as an axe 
to hit the root of it, meaning it gets the source. It goes to that which nurturing you to be wicked. If you're stubborn in the midst of it, that same word come as a hammer. Thank God to break up your stubbornness and it comes back as fire that it may consume everything about you. So the word is fire for consuming. The word is a hammer to break you up. The word is an axe that's laid at the roots so whatever is nurturing your evil can be cut down. The word is a sword that it may pierce you and separate you from that which is not like God. That's right. Hey! That's it. Come on, son. It's not my word like it's a fire and saying Hallelujah. The Lord. Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah. It's not my word. My word. Like it's a fire. My word. My word. Glory to God. You, you, you're full to get mad at Pastor Jennings. Don't you credit me with this. Hallelujah. Don't blame me. Amen. Amen. Somebody showed me a false prophet from Canada. He said God sent him to uh, preach against me and Bishop Johnson. He said, God sent him. My Lord. <laughs> he said, God personally sent him just to preach against me My Lord. and Bishop Johnson, who've been gone almost 60 years. Hey Amen. Can you imagine that? That's one of them cold-blooded lies. That's right. What? That's just a lie you didn't have to tell. That's right. Just say you don't like either one of us and call us a day. That's right. Do you see what I'm talking? That's right. Thank God that word. That's listen. Good. When a man of God died, the word didn't die. Oh, no. Amen. You see, the word was made flesh. And the word that made that flesh, it, that the flesh died. That's why the Bible talks about Jesus. He was put to death in the flesh. In the, flesh. the word didn't die, right. but the flesh died. It was the word that came out the flesh and went to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. And the word preached while the flesh and bones was lying there right. in one spot. Then the word got back in the flesh that's right. and then glorified it and gave it the same glory that the word had. That's right. Huh? That's right. What did it say? It's not my word like as a fire. Oh, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. It's hallelujah. Thanks be unto God. This is so good. Hallelujah. I said, I said, I said, Hallelujah. I said, this is so good. It's not my it's word. It's not my word. Like as a fire. Like as a fire. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And like a hammer. Amen. It's like a hammer. That breaketh the rock in pieces. Amen. That's why you find folk crying out. I'm baptized, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. You're wrong about that baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. The hammer got him. I mean, it's, 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 it's hammer time. Hammer. That's, <laughs> that's right. That's you right. understand? It's hammer time. That's right. Hey, Amen. And I want to tell you, Hallelujah. You, you can't touch this. <laughs> Lord of God. You can't touch this. Go ahead, it's brother. hammer time. That's right. You can't touch this. Glory that's right. to God. Hallelujah. You get what I'm talking? It's not my word like it's, it's a not fire. not my word. Hallelujah. Like a hammer. Mm. I, I don't mean MC hammer either. Oh, this, no. My this word. is hammer time, brother. That's right. And you can't touch this. That's right. Huh? And like a hammer. It's strong. Go ahead, man. It's powerful. Hallelujah. Hold Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Go ahead. Why? Because it comes from Hallelujah. God Hallelujah. himself. So I don't care how. There, there's thousands of people. Go ahead. Amen. I, I read one comment. A man said, who else is it that hated Pastor Jennings? And then he said, I'll be the first to admit I am. I couldn't stand Pastor Jennings. Then he said, but I'm hooked now. <laughs> he said, I'm hooked now. Amen. Amen. That he's hooked. It, it, it is the nature of the flesh to fight what you don't understand. That's right. Nobody come with a hammer right. to uh, make you feel good. No, no. If, if a man got a hammer... And running down the street chasing you, I advise you, run. That's right. The other direction. That's right. Amen. He's not come to tap you. <laughs> not at all. He's coming to do damage. Oh, yeah. Now, if the word of God is called a hammer, hammer. that means this book is designed to do damage. That's right. Until the Lord says, I did not come right. to bring peace, but a sword. Huh? But a sword. Right. sword. Thank you. God, he come to do damage. Right. So look at it. He got a hammer, which is you. It was, was used in war yeah. in ancient time. A sword right. that was used in war in ancient time. Right. Thank God, an axe that was used in war in ancient time. Who is the greatest of all warriors? Mm. God is he. That's right. 
And that goes to show you that the word of God is a weapon. That's right. It's a weapon. That's right. It's a hammer. It's an axe. It's a sword. That's right. And no weapon is designed to play with. Thou art my battle axe. Yes. No weapon, I said. Go ahead. Thank God Hallelujah. is designed to play with. Amen. So this is why when you find viewers hollering, if I take that hammer and drop it on your foot, you're going to scream. Yes, you will. Eh? Amen. Viewers, when you find heathens hollering on social media, it's the sign that the hammer had dropped upon him or upon her. Right. Amen. Somebody got to holler. Right. They've been hit. I, I, I mean, they've been hit too, brother. Amen. I mean, preachers being hit would be apostles and prophets and evangelists and deacons, elders, amen, second wives, third husbands, homosexuals, Democrats, Republicans, black, white, brown, red, yellow. Everybody's being hit with the hammer of God's word. Right. All right, what did Jeremiah tell us? It's not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord. Praise the name of God, and. And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces, therefore, behold, I am against the prophet. I am against the prophet, saith the Lord. Saith the Lord that steal my words. That steal my, my words. word. Every one from his neighbor. Viewers, as we said before, mm. so say I now again. Mm. You better be careful to make these words. That's right. The Lord told me. Such and such a thing. That's right. That's right. Yeah, let, let me repeat it again. That's right. Because I believe the prophet Jeremiah spoke of this in the book of Lamentations. And you Lamentations. better be careful, viewers, mm -hmm. to let this come out of your mouth. The Lord told me this. The Lord told me that. The Lord told me the other. Be careful. That's right. Listen at the prophet. Lamentations chapter 3 and at verse 37. Lamentations 337. Who is he that saith? Who is he that saith? And it cometh to pass. And it come to pass. When the Lord commandeth it not. When the Lord did not order it. That's right. Notice. Who is he that saith? And it cometh to pass. And it happens. When the Lord commandeth it not. When the Lord did not order that thing to be spoken. That's right. And that's what you have going on now. They have stole God's stole words. words. They have stole God's speech. Plagiarism. That's right. That's, yeah. right. That's right. Plagiarism. That's, That's what right. they done. They come along and stole what God said and imitated it. Thank God. But what's missing is they don't have the power That's it. that God had. That's right. Amen. That's the problem. It doesn't have power. That's right. Amen. That's why some, even some of the preachers that may baptize in the name of Jesus Christ and talk about they believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. But when you find them always talking about the truth of God, the truth of God, listen. Hallelujah. You can take a man that believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and preach it and not sin. And you can take a man that preached the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and is sin. And you can hear the difference in the usage of Acts 2.38. That's right. Huh? That's true. You can hear the difference. Why? One man is just quoting it, it. not being used of God. That's right. The one that's being used of God, not only is he quoting it, but God is using him to draw disciples unto him. That's right. Huh? That's right. Don't you hear Jesus? Don't you hear Jesus say, ain't nobody coming to him unless my father draw you. Unless my father draw you. Now father meaning the spirit got to draw you. And God knows the truth of God can bear witness that God himself. Many people say, well, Pastor Jennings, you're leading the people. Listen, God is leading the people. I'm just an instrument that he's using. God is how how is God leading the church, Pastor Jennings? That's why the Lord demands for his preacher to be faithful. In what? The word. the word. Now, if the preacher is faithful in the word, the preacher never get in front of the book. That's right. Huh? That's right. He always put the book in front of him right. and he stay in back right. of the book. That way, he follow the word. Right. When he follow the word, he follow Christ. When he follow Christ, he follow God. But he got to always stay in back of the word. 
The moment he run ahead of the word, he done linked to his own understanding. That's right. He linked to his own opinion. He linked to his own idea. He leaned to his own philosophy. He's speaking by his own accord. He don't have no anointing. Hallelujah. He don't have no unction from the Holy One because he ran ahead of the Spirit. It made me think of one old brother. When we was on Frankfurt Avenue, Brother Terry, who passed on, I believe it was about 92 or 94, he used to always say, don't run ahead of the Spirit. Don't run ahead of the Spirit. Viewers, you can run ahead of the spirit which means you ran ahead of the word of god there's a lot of prophets out here now false prophets who are prophesying by running ahead of the spirit i have not sent these well, prophets. Let, 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 let go back and read what you just had back in jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 29 listen closely is not my word it's like not my a fire, word saith like the lord a fire said the lord and like a hammer like that breaks the, rock the rocks in pieces. Rocks and pieces therefore behold behold i am against the prophet saith the lord i am against the prophet saith the lord that steal my word that steal my word everyone from his neighbor now brothers and sisters when someone run ahead of God, meaning run ahead of scripture to tell you anything. Go back to the book of Lamentations. Go back to Lamentations quickly. To tell you anything when they don't wait on the spirit of God, then I don't have confidence in what they said. Right. I don't care how much you jump around, fall out. Uh -uh. No, the Bible speaks plain. They that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. That's right. huh? They that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. Listen to what the prophet tells us again. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. All right. Who is he that saith? Who is he that saith? And it cometh to pass. And it come to pass. When the Lord commandeth it not. When the Lord didn't sponsor. When these men walking around with no conscience, no fear. The Lord said this. The Lord said that. The Lord said the other. Let me warn right. every man, right. every woman, every boy, every girl. One of the most dangerous things that can come out of your mouth is when you blame God for what you say and then say the Lord told you to say it. When you blame God for your actions and then say the Lord told you to do it. That's right. What did he say? Who is he that saith? Who is he that saith? That said, and it cometh to pass, and it happens when the Lord commandeth it and not. And the Lord ain't said nothing. That's right. You're speaking by your own cord, That's by right. your own presumption. That's right. As the Word of God said, right. you're speaking by your own accord, That's by right. your own will, by your own opinion, and then you lie and say the Lord said this, the Lord said that. Viewers, there's a lot of thieves, men and women, that's stealing, stealing the speech me. of God. That's right. Stealing the words of God That's right. and trying to imitate it. And I can't deny this. This is one thing I can't deny. They are successful in deception. Yeah. Sometimes somebody in a church, not even a preacher, just get up in the church with some prophecy out of hell. Amen. And what makes people think, I, I remember years ago when I was in falsehood, uh, my cousin who passed on now in Brooklyn, New York, he was uh, shot close range and it paralyzed him. He was paralyzed for life afterward. It severed his spine and whatnot. Well, his mother, which is my aunt, was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. And any child or any mother that see her child injured in any way want that child to be healed. Amen. You hope that to be healed. And sometimes your hope make you spiritually vulnerable if you're not uh, thinking clearly at all times uh, to decipher whether the Lord is talking or whether he's not talking. So I remember years ago, the false prophet I was under, he preached at one of the Bible where worldwide churches in Brooklyn, New York. And there was a false prophet. I was a young man. Then I never I remember to this day what the false prophet even had on. He had on a tight, double-knit gray suit. And it like was hugging everything on him. And he was up jumping around and jumping around. And he went to my aunt and told my aunt that the Lord told me to tell you that your son is going to walk this year. Your son is going to walk. Oh, well, any mother would hope that if a tragedy happened to their house and then 
somebody come along and prophesy that it's going to be a change in that tragedy for the better, you're vulnerable. And you may jump up and believe it. So she believed it. She jumped up and shouted and got happy. And years went by. Years. My cousin never was healed. He never came out the wheelchair. I believe eventually years. I mean, it may be like 20 or 30 years later. Amen. That's how long he was there. Pneumonia eventually set in and he passed away. But uh, I'm telling you this, viewers, because, amen, never allow your emotions to be above your capacity to think. That's right. Because emotions uh, make you judge things wrong. That's, right. That's why you got to come on back to the Bible and look at what the Bible said. I remember years ago, I had a sister who was telling other sisters, told uh, some sisters, I think about two or three of them, that you're going to receive the Holy Ghost. I was on a Sunday today. And those sisters took her word. I mean, the sister told her and she was shaking and jumping and all that stuff. And uh, it didn't happen that day. You better be careful. You better be careful. Don't you go blaming Lord for, for nothing. Amen. Why would you blame God for something when you don't really know him? That's right. You have to come into the knowledge of him until Brother Paul said that I may know him. Talking about Jesus and the power of his resurrection. You must be taught the ways of God. You must be taught the precepts of God. And listen what I'm about to tell you. You must be taught the conduct of God. So you see what I just said? Right. You must be taught the ways of God, the statue of God, the judgment of God, and you must be taught the conduct of God. What do you mean, Pastor Genesis? If you go to the Bible, to the scriptures, you will see how God functioned within the word. And God said to believe on him as the scripture has said. Amen. So for me to believe that God said, anything i'm gonna scramble back the scriptures i don't care if you get happy and jump and roll over and fall over the chair you know some folk get all excited and thank the lord is using somebody because they knock the chairs over and run around like in false churches yeah. if you look at these false prophets in the churches amen they're always dramatic very dramatic they get up starping under some spell from hell like the Lord is using him or using her. He get up shaking uh, all that stomach. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? Does the fire have you? What's the matter? Thank God when I, when I read the Bible and God wanted a prophet to talk, God going to get him that mouth. He said, I will put my word in, thy, in mouth. thy mouth. I don't care nothing about your hands shaking, your feet stomping, your eyes can roll back, and you can jerk the jerk, the jerk, the jerk. God want that mouth. You can run off the pulpit, run out the church, run out the gymnasium, run down Fifth Street, go all the way down Sheltonham, come all the way back, slide in the church. When you're done, I'm waiting for your mouth. That's right. Your mouth. That's it. You can spin around like James Brown, go from side to side, put his hands over his ears, breathe hard. I don't care nothing about that. God said I have put my word in thy mouth. I, I, I want to see the mouth. Listen at this. In Jeremiah chapter 1 and at verse 9. I, I want to bring you this, viewers, so you can calm down and stop getting overly dramatic and stop getting seduced and tricked by the physical behavior of a fool that claim he's under the inspiration and the anointing of the Most High. That's right. Huh? Jeremiah chapter 1 and at verse 9. Come on, William. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord wait, said, wait, 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 wait. Then, then the Lord, then the Lord put forth his hand, put forth his hand, and touched my mouth. And what did he say? And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. I have put my word in your feet. I have put my words in thy mouth. I have put my word in the shaking of your hand. I have put my words in thy mouth. I have put my word when you twirl around. I have put my words in thy mouth. I don't care if you shake twirl around until you twist. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> you just twist. Glory to right. God. That's right. It doesn't matter. 
I have put my words. I want to see what's coming out your mouth. That's it. That's where the word of God comes from. That's right. And listen, the word of God is not coming out of no other part of your body. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Where did he put it at? And the Lord said unto me. The Lord said. Behold, come on, son. I have put, I my, have words put my word in thy mouth. Where it's coming from? In thy mouth. Amen. Where it's coming from? In thy mouth. You fools out there in these churches, preachers, get up and all that. Hey, listen. Look past the activity. Look past it. That's it. And that way you won't get overexcited. Look past the screaming, the shaking, the hollering, the twisting around. And all, uh -uh. Look past mm. that. See what's coming out of his mouth. That's it. And whatever come out of his mouth, if it's not in here, if it's not in here, it got to come out of here. That's this right. is where God's word is. Come out of his mouth. That's right. His mouth. The Bible got to talk. The Bible got to talk. That's right. The Bible got to talk. That's right. Yeah? That's right. If the Bible don't talk, shut your mouth. That's it. If God don't talk, shut your mouth. That's right. If God don't talk, shut your mouth. That's right. If God don't talk, shut your mouth. That's right. That's it. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Someone said, could you say it better than that? Peace. Be still. Amen. Shut your mouth. That's right. Stop moving. That's right. Be still. Amen. Go ahead. Go you ahead. got to deactivate. That's right. I don't believe nothing ahead, but what's in that Bible. That's right. Coming up in falsehood took me to school. Amen. I saw my share of false prophets and physical antics. Amen. Men all over the floor waddling like they ain't got no more, like they're having seizures and epilepsies with no spirit. That's right. Just to excite the people. That's right. Amen. Running out of church builders, running up the street. <laughs> and fools running behind him. <laughs> Talking about he can't stop running because the Lord is upon him. Amen. Amen. Well, you're going out there on 95. When that truck clip your legs, right then, you coming out the spirit. That's right. Yes, you are. That's right. Don't you hear what the Bible said? Then the Lord put forth his hand and, <laughs> and touched my mouth. Feel us. Amen. Who would take God? You see, when men steal scripture, steal, the word. steal God's word, That's right. and you don't know the word, they are so easy to trick you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Preachers supposed to be on the anointing. I, I've seen all this where men supposed to be anointed. Amen. Coming up in the falsehood, they come out the pulpit and sit on people's lap. That's right. And supposed to be keep preaching, right. rocking back and forth all on your thighs, That's right. sitting on the laps of men and mm -hmm. on the laps of women, rocking mm -hmm. back and forth. And you can see the man and woman straining because they can't hold all that weight. Huh? <laughs> can't right. even hold all that weight. That's Preacher right. just sit there, got them straining. <laughs> Glory to God. Huh? I will put my word in thy mouth. In thy mouth. In viewers, thy mouth. viewers, this is why I'm hard. I'm using the hammer. Every time you tune to this program, rest assure you, it's hammer time. That's that right. hammer going to hit you. That's why you don't like it. You get upset. You get mad. You cuss me out. You call me an antichrist. You call me a cult leader. Why? The hammer. hammer it's hammer, hammer time. That's Thank right. God. Go and we're going to use that hammer. Huh? Hey man, I, I'm not going to do like I was when I was a child. I used my plastic hammer and it couldn't cause no death. Oh, no. Oh, no. This hammer come from heaven and come crashing down to the earth. That's right. And it's God everlasting word. That's right. What he says, son. It's not my word like as a fire, uh -huh. saith the Lord. Yes. And, and like a hammer and that like breaks the hammer rock that in pieces. breaks the rocks in pieces. Therefore, behold. Behold. I am against the prophets. I'm a, God is talking. I am against the prophets. You walk around, the Lord said this, the Lord said that. You better shut your mouth. That's right. Until you come into the knowledge of who God is. That's right. Don't you indict him. That's Don't right. you blame him. That's Don't right. you said he said Anything. anything because one thing i learned about god he don't contradict that bible that's right even the law points us to what's written the word. Huh? he said search the scriptures search the scriptures for in them you yeah, think you have eternal life. eternal life amen he said the error not knowing the scriptures nor the power of god mm. move on the apostle paul to tell us well whatsoever things were written, were written a full time were written for our learning that we through that patience. we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope 
thank God. So everything points to the scriptures. All scriptures are given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine and reproof and correction, instruction and righteousness that the matter of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished under all good works. Everything point to the scriptures. scriptures. Everything. That's right. Everything. That's right. Everything. What's supposed to run the church? Yeah. The scriptures. The song that the choir sang must be according to scriptures. scriptures. How you're baptized right. must be in scripture. Right. Amen. How you receive the Holy Ghost right. must be in scripture. Right. How a man is a deacon, qualification got to be in scripture. Right. How you become the apostle, it got to be in scripture. Somebody say, well, holy pastor Jennings, that proves right there, there are no apostles now because all of the apostles walk with Jesus, talk with Jesus, and ate with Jesus. Well, there's two ways to walk with Jesus, talk with Jesus, and eat with Jesus. You can do it. He, they done it when he was in the flesh, and Paul done it in the spirit. So I say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Genesis. Hey, I agree with your part way. Paul didn't eat with Jesus in the spirit. Yes, he did. How you think Paul got the word? God fed him. Thank God. God fed him. Thank God when God fed Fed him? That's you better right. give him the book of Genesis, son. That's chapter 49. Right. Thank God. Amen. Jacob Amen. called his sons together. Blessed be the name of God. And he looked at Judah. Thank God. And Reuben and Gad and Issachar and Nephtali. Thank God. And Dan and Benjamin and Joseph. Thank God. But he saw something in one that he didn't see in the other. Judah. Judah. Thou art he whom thy brethren thou shall praise. Thou art he whom thy brethren Hallelujah. shall praise. Who rest take God, Hallelujah. that your brethren going to praise thy hand. Shall be in the neck of thy enemy. Shall be in the neck of thy enemy. Thy, thy father's, father's children, children shall bow down shall before bow thee. Shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp. Is a lion's whelp. From the prey, from my the son, prey, thou my gone son up. you're gone up. You're stooped, stooped down. down. The cow says as a lion. As a lion, as an old lion who shall rise him up. The scepter shall not depart from the Judah. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a law given from between his feet. Until Shiloh come. Until Shiloh come, and under him shall the gathering of the people be. Binding his foe unto closely, the vine. Listen closely, listen closely, listen closely. Binding his foe to the vine. And his ass, and his ass, ass coat his coat to the unto choice the vine. Choice he washed, he washed his, his garments in wine. Garment in wine. And his, and his clothes, clothes in the, the blood, blood of grapes. Of grapes. His eyes shall his be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. And his teeth. And his teeth. White with milk. Hold it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It said his teeth. Teeth. Shall be white with, white milk. with milk. Now, let, 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 let's get this now. Let's see. We're going to see what milk represents. Right. And we're going to see the purpose of teeth. The purpose of teeth is to break down whatever you're eating. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says, taste the Lord and see that he is good. You don't taste with your teeth. You taste with your tongue. Thank God. So when a mother, bless God, go and get her children off the baby food and want to give a table, give the baby table food, she got to eat it first. Right. And she breaks it down. And when she breaks it down, she takes it out of her mouth and put it in the mouth of the child. Thank God. So that the teeth of God represent God's breaking down his word and then meaning opening up the understanding of the preacher. That's why God opened up the understanding of the preacher. And for that to be, God had to simplify things for the preacher. And then a preacher come by and simplify things for the church. In order for the church to know the wisdom of God, there's a promise made that it might be made known to the church, the manifold wisdom of God. So God search out all Hallelujah. things for the preacher. Yeah! Hallelujah. The deep things of, God. Things of God. And when God give it to his preacher, he can rejoice. Amen. And say, I thank thee like the son of man did. Oh, Father, Lord, thank God of hallelujah of heaven and earth. For thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. So it seemed good in thine sight. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God. God alive. So God again a preacher and he will supply him with milk. Let me show you what milk is now. First Peter chapter 2 and at verse 2. All right. As newborn babe. As what? As newborn babe. As, hallelujah. hallelujah. Take God. As what? As newborn babe. As newborn. Newborn babe. Newborn. That's right. Newborn. Newborn babe. You just got here. That's right. Oh, take hallelujah. God. As, As newborn babe. Mm. Desire the sincere, sincere milk of the word. 
milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. The milk of God is the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The milk of God is the word of God. Thanks be unto God. The milk of look at it. Look at here. Look at here's the word. It's called milk, and the word is called living water. And you need both elements natural to nourish the natural body. And then the word also is called bread. Thank God in the natural. When you eat bread, it gives you carbs. In the spirit, when you eat bread, which is God's word, it builds you up when you're weak. When you get the wisdom of God, which is the milk of God, it'll strengthen you just like natural milk. Strengthen your bones, the wisdom of God, strengthen your soul. Now you need water in the natural. When you don't have water, your body don't function. You feel wobbling because you're dehydrated. When you don't have the water of God, hallelujah. the spirit of God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, when you don't have the spirit of God, spiritually you will dehydrate because spiritually you will not be able to function in a manner or attack God that pleases God. What did he say? As newborn babes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As newborn babes. Desire the sense of milk desire. of the word. Thanks be unto God the sense of milk of the word. That ye may grow thereby. And that's what happened to Paul. That's so right. he walked with Jesus in the, uh, in the spirit. Talked with him in the spirit ate with him in the spirit. The spirit kept feeding him and Paul kept eating him. That's why you hear the apostle say meats for the belly and belly for the meats. He was constantly eating and digesting. That's why Paul said uh, Paul let you know he ate so much until he said I got abundance of revelation. That's right. That's right. I got abundance of revelation. That's right. There's a whole lot been revealed to me but I had to digest it first. He had to open up my understanding what I was eating and after I took it in, I have to understand it line upon line, precept upon precept. And God don't open up his, uh, his servant understanding overnight. That's he right. give it to him gradually. Thank God. Amen. You get what I'm telling you. Go back to the 23rd chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Thank God I'm almost home now. Back Come in on, Jeremiah son. chapter 23 and verse 30. All right. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets. What did he say? Therefore, behold. Therefore, look. I am against the prophets. I am against the prophets. Saith the Lord. Oh, praise the great names. Hallelujah. Saith the Lord. That steal my word. They steal it. Oh, yes. Steal it. Steal it. You are thief. Mm -hmm. Listen, if God make you a preacher, you don't have to steal it. You know why? It's given to you. <laughs> That's, ah. right. That's right. Ah. That's right. Amen. If God make you a preacher, you ain't got to steal it. That's why? Right. It's given to you. That's right. God gives his word to his preacher because God want his preacher to have it. It is given unto you. Uh oh, uh oh, listen at this. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 13 and at verse 11. Listen. He answered and said unto he them. He answered and said unto them. Because it is given unto you. No, because you stole it. It is given unto you. Because you stole it. Because it is given unto you. It's given unto you. Blessed be the name of God unto you. To know the, to mystery, know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. Of the kingdom of heaven. But to them. To them it is not given. Oh, to them that are without. That's amen. Right. It's not given. Not One given. scripture says to them that are without, all things are done in parables. That's right. Huh? That's amen. Right. So to them that it's not given. So if it's not given, what's, what's left for them to do? That's steal right. it. Steal. Steal my words. <laughs> huh? right. Amen. If it's not given, what's left for them to do, Will? Steal William? my words. Do what? Steal my words. Them that God sent, how do they get it? Be because it is given unto you to and know them the mystery. that God didn't send, how do they go about it? That steal my words. Them that God sent, how do they get it? It is given unto you. And them that God didn't send, how do they have it? That, that steal my words. You thieves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You thieves. Thieves. You thieves. That's right. You thieves. That's right. And the Lord talked about you. Yes, he he did. said, thou right. shall not Hallelujah. steal. That mean in any category you can think That's of. Right. Huh? That's right. Thou That's right. shall not Go ahead, brother. steal. That's right. You know, if somebody wants you to have some, they give it to you. Hallelujah. You ain't got to steal it. That's right. You ain't got to steal it. That's not right. at all. That's right. But it's given. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, this is so beautifully outlined. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's close out. Amen. Back in Jeremiah, son. And then we'll conclude, amen, with the Great Commission in Acts 38. Back in Jeremiah chapter 23, we're at verse 28. Oh, God gave us so much in oh, such yeah. a short length of time. Oh, I yeah. hope you can get this. Hallelujah. All right. Jeremiah 23 and back at verse 28. All right. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. Yes. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Uh -huh. What is the chaff to the wheat? Yes. Sir? 
saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Is not my word like, like as a fire, saith the Lord? There was, God said, it's not my word. My word, not Geno Jennings' word, God's word. word. It's like a fire. That's what got you hollering. I ain't never seen a person on fire and didn't holler. That's right. Huh? That's right. Never. I don't care how cute they are. No cute woman get on fire and just say, ouch. <laughs> no. huh? Not that. No, no. Hey, man, I'm from the hood, brother. I don't care. I ain't never seen no man from the hood. All of a sudden, he get caught on fire, and he be like, they, uh, ouch. Yeah, yeah, ouch. You know, I'm, I got burnt. Yeah, yeah, I got burnt. He ain't doing that. No. My God, you ain't hear his voice hit a tone that he didn't know was in him. <laughs> Why? Fire brings pain. That's right. Amen. So when you hear this message, this is the message of pain. Oh, yeah. Because it's against your will. It's against the will of everybody under the sun, including me. That's right. So I say, what? You preaching against yourself? No, I'm not preaching against myself. God in me preaching against myself. That's right. God preach against me. Someone say, where is that at in the Bible, Pastor Jennings? Jesus said, it is not you that speak it, but it is the voice of my Father speaking in you. That's why God had to get in the man and make his mouth talk. Oh, yeah. Make his mouth speak the lively oracles of God. That's right. Why? If God don't get in him, that man ain't going to say nothing to hurt him. Oh, no. Huh? Why? The Bible says this. No man hated for his own flesh. Amen. Well, that man ain't going to say nothing to offend him or make him angry. No. Oh, no. Amen. But the word of God, it hit you and beat you unmerciful. Oh, yeah. So when you find folks crying out on internet, brothers and sisters and billions and viewers, it's because it's hammer time. <laughs> Amen. Right. Remember that. Hammer time. That's Amen. Right. Hammer time. Are you bear in right. mind? They can't touch this. Not at all. This is hammer time. I'm not talking about MC. Not at all. Oh, no. Hey, man, I'm talking about JC. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Not MC, but this is JC. That's right. It's hammer time. Amen. Oh, we take God, we're going to take that hammer and pound on the head of the world. That's you right. better than mine. You keep this in thought. Hey, Amen. Them that God didn't give it to, they steal it. Steal. The others whom God sent. Given unto you. It is given unto you. That's Look right. at the difference. Look at the separation. Right. Them that God sent and chose. Given unto you. It's given unto you. Amen. Them that God didn't make a preacher. That steal my words. Amen. Plagiarism. Amen. They steal God's word. May God bless you. Let's Amen. close out with Acts 38. What I, everybody got to do. And I mean everybody. Amen. Then Peter said unto them, repent uh -huh. and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy That's Ghost. the new birth. That's the way you're born again. When you're born of the water, when you repent of your sins and you're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you're born of the Spirit, you're filled with the Spirit, speaking in tongue of the Spirit of the living God to give utterance. And no preacher can make you speak in tongue. Your mama can't make you speak in tongue. Your daddy, your sister, your brother, your wife, none of them can make you speak in tongue from heaven. That's right. This thing come from heaven. Mm -hmm. It's a gift. Until one writer says in the book of James, every good gift, every perfect gift come from above, come down from the Father of lights, of whom there is no variables. Anybody else want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ today? Stand on your feet if you want it. If not, we thank God for your viewers. Tune in again next week. Tune in again. Tune in again, I say. May God keep you and preserve you is our prayer. Thank God for all of you. Peace be unto you. Hallelujah.